Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Christine by Stephen King. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are Christine by Stephen King is a horror novel about a possessed car and the sinister transformation of its owner. The story revolves around a 1958 Plymouth Fury named Christine, which has a malevolent influence on those who come into contact with it. The protagonist, Arnie Cunningham, is a shy and awkward teenager who buys the dilapidated car from an elderly man. As Arnie restores Christine, he becomes increasingly obsessed with the car, and his personality changes dramatically. He goes from being a bullied, insecure student to a confident, aggressive, and sometimes cruel person. Christine, it turns out, has a mind of her own. The car repairs itself and exerts a deadly influence over Arnie, making him more and more like its previous owner, who died under mysterious circumstances. Christine is also responsible for a series of violent incidents, taking revenge on anyone who threatens her or Arnie. The novel opens in Libertyville, Pennsylvania, introducing Arnie Cunningham and his best friend, Dennis Gilder. Arnie is an awkward, acne-ridden teenager, and Dennis is a popular football player. They have been best friends since childhood, with Dennis often playing the role of Arnie's protector. One day, while driving home from work, they spot a dilapidated 1958 Plymouth Fury parked in a yard with a for-sale sign. Despite Dennis's warnings, Arnie feels an inexplicable attraction to the car and decides to buy it. The car's owner, an elderly man named Roland D. Liebe, is irritable and vaguely sinister. Liebe tells them the car's name is Christine. When Arnie buys Christine, he insists on paying for it himself, despite his parents' disapproval. Christine needs extensive repairs, and Arnie rents a space at a local garage owned by Will Darnell, a shady character with a reputation for illegal activities. As Arnie begins working on Christine, he becomes increasingly obsessed. His personality starts to change, he becomes more confident and assertive, but also more aggressive and secretive. His acne clears up, and his relationship with his parents becomes strained. Dennis notices these changes and becomes concerned for his friend. Arnie's transformation coincides with Christine's restoration. The car seems to fix itself overnight, looking newer and more polished each day. Dennis begins to suspect something supernatural about Christine. He learns from Liebe's brother, George, that Liebe's young daughter and wife both died in Christine, and that Liebe himself was a malevolent man whose personality seems to have fused with the car. Arnie's life continues to change dramatically. He starts dating Lee Cabot, a beautiful new student at their school, which surprises everyone, including Dennis. Lee initially brings out the best in Arnie, but Christine becomes jealous. Strange and dangerous incidents begin to happen around the car. One night, Lee almost chokes to death in Christine, leading her to believe that the car tried to kill her. She pleads with Arnie to get rid of Christine but he refuses, growing more distant and possessive. Dennis, sidelined with a football injury, spends time researching Christine's history and trying to find a way to help Arnie. He learns that all previous owners of Christine have met tragic ends. The car seems to have a life of its own, and anyone who crosses its path meets with violence. Dennis becomes more convinced that Christine is possessed by an evil force, possibly the spirit of Roland Liebe. The situation escalates when Christine begins to act autonomously. The car seeks out and kills several of Arnie's bullies in gruesome ways. The deaths are initially thought to be accidents, but Dennis and Lee suspect the truth. They realize that Christine's influence over Arnie is growing stronger and that he is becoming more like Liebe, displaying traits and mannerisms of the old man. 
Dennis and Lee, desperate to save Arnie, decide to take action against Christine. They break into Darnell's garage one night to destroy the car, but Christine, now almost fully restored and even more malevolent, fights back. Despite their efforts, they fail to destroy Christine, and the car retaliates violently. Arnie's parents die in a suspicious car accident, further isolating him and driving him deeper into Christine's grip. Arnie begins to exhibit behaviors and speech patterns that resemble Roland Leiby, indicating that his personality is being consumed by the car's malevolent spirit. Dennis and Lee devise a final plan to stop Christine. Dennis, having recovered from his injury, drives a bulldozer borrowed from a friend. Lee lures Christine into a trap, and Dennis uses the bulldozer to crush the car. Christine fights back fiercely, displaying an almost supernatural resilience, but Dennis and Lee's determination prevails. They manage to destroy Christine, reducing it to a heap of twisted metal. The novel concludes with a bittersweet epilogue. Arnie dies in a car accident while transporting parts from Christine, suggesting that her influence persisted until the very end. Dennis and Lee, although traumatized by their experiences, try to move on with their lives. Dennis reflects on the events, acknowledging the deep impact they had on him and Lee. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.